in this video we will learn how to write expression for monitoring the lift on the front roof and the rear roof so just come to expression over here do a right click just uh, move on to insert and then click on expression and the expression name that we had given to monitor the lift on the front roof was lift front roof so this is case, case sensitive so write uh, lift uh, uh, front uh, roof is uh, given in the uh, CFD uh, project uh, guideline so once you have written lift front roof click on OK and then just uh, move your uh, case over here and then write the expression so I had copied the expression from that particular CFD document so I will just simply paste it so it says that uh, force uh, underscore Y open close brackets at front roof so this name front roof is the name uh, that we had given to the surface so which uh, had the front roof so again this is case sensitive so write as it is and then click apply so it has been added so lift front roof has been added so what you can do is just click on expression over here just do a right click and click on insert once more and we'll click on expression uh, this time around we will uh, write the expression for lift uh, rear roof click OK again I can ex uh, paste the expression so this time around it should not be front but uh, rear so I'm just uh, doing it uh, uh, using the front roof so just change the name here to rear roof click apply so both the expressions have been added so you can just uh, close this the next thing is uh, uh, your solver control was as such now what we'll do is we'll move on to output controls let's look at backup so backup you had already uh, selected that you will uh, save your results f at every 20 iteration so when we go to monitor we haven't inserted anything so initially it would have been like this so click on monitor objects uh, click on this icon uh, instead of uh, saying uh, uh, monitor point one you will say uh, uh, lift uh, front roof so lift front roof and then click uh, OK and then the option over here says Cartesian coordinate switch it to expression and over here we have to write the expression value so this is the name of the expression that we had specified in the beginning so to monitor lift on the front roof the expression name was lift sorry again case sensitive so lift front roof and then click apply apply and it has been added we can insert another uh, expression that we want to monitor this would be uh, lift uh, uh, rear roof so lift RR click OK again it would be expression and the expression name was lift rear roof so you have to be careful over here so the name the name of the expression should be exactly the same as what you have written while writing the expression itself so uh, lift RR means lift on the uh, rear roof the reason why we have to uh, use this is because we cannot have the same name uh, appearing we cannot say lift uh, rear roof as a uh, uh, name uh, that uh, the expression that we want to monitor and then the expression value is same so for that reason this have to be different and then click uh, apply so both the expressions uh, have been um, added to our monitoring uh, system so just click on OK uh, what you will notice is when you go to your output control just click on this small uh, uh, arrow over here you will see that the two expressions uh, for monitoring have been added so the expression was lift front roof and lift rear roof and uh, uh, the variable that we have uh, uh, inserted to monitor is lift uh, front roof and lift rear roof so this is how you go on about uh, writing the expression and then monitoring that particular expression what you will do is then you will click on save and then for me I will just uh, try to show you run solver and monitor I will save it uh, inside the same folder over here save I'm not going to solve the entire uh, simulation I just want to show you the expression that we had added so it will take a little bit of time 
So now on the top you will see uh, momentum and mesh turbulence. And now you see user points. So when you click on user point, uh, let it solve for some uh, attrition. So you can see the red one is showing the lift on the front roof. So lift on the front roof and the green up curve is showing the lift on the uh, rear roof. So what we can do is instead of monitoring the velocity and pressure, uh, we will monitor these uh, values of lift on the front and the rear roof and we will see uh, when it stabilizes. So once it stabilizes, we know that uh, the simulation has converged, the results has converged. So we can then do our uh, post-processing. So that's how you will add your expression and then monitor and then when you run solver and monitor this is how you will be able to judge whether the simulation is converging or the result is converging. If it's not converging then you have to increase the uh, uh, iteration, the number of iterations from 200 to let's say 300 and so on. So again this is very simple. Uh,